Miami Access Tunnel is pleased to provide the following computer simulation of our design for the Port of Miami Tunnel project. This design has been developed to achieve a safe, efficient, and environmentally responsible solution by using innovative techniques to address the objectives of this important and impressive project. To begin, the MacArthur Causeway Bridge would be widened to provide one additional lane in each direction. Next, in consideration of the resulting traffic pattern east on MacArthur Bridge, the tunnel portal on Watson Island has been redesigned to better accommodate the geometry of the carriageways and to provide a safer driving environment. The tunnel exit lane has been moved to the left side of the roadway. This innovation will minimize traffic congestion and potential traffic safety issues associated with the merging and weaving of traffic destined for Miami Beach from downtown and providing some potential for upstream traffic control entering the port. This approach parallels the westbound traffic configuration already present in the reference design causing truck traffic and car traffic to be concentrated separately. This design dramatically simplifies the site staging on Watson Island, reducing the impact on traffic during construction, the environmental impact regarding soil removal and reclamation as well as noise vibration as activities will be concentrated in one area only. The proposed design also results in longer tunnel sections and shorter cut and cover sections with corresponding environmental benefits from noise and vibrations reduction in short and long term horizons and reduced soil remediation requirements. Miami Access Tunnel Strategy has incorporated the use of combined portals on MacArthur Causeway with the two portals located within one half tube diameter of each other. The tunnel will have four travel lanes, two in each direction and will extend from Watson Island to Dodge Island beneath the main channel for about one mile, generally following the reference alignment. Within the tunnel, an extra shaft will provide the fire brigade with a third access emergency egress in addition to the portals at the boundary of Siemens Center to improve safety and response time in case of incident. Shortening the cut and cover and U-wall sections on Dodge Island by using extended board tunnel sections provided several benefits. Reduce the depth of open excavated cut and cover and U-wall sections to reduce the cost and engineering risks. Easier traffic flow during construction from minimizing the road work scope and timeline. Eliminating the need for demolition and reconstruction of a recently constructed bridge and the relocation of Siemens Center. Improve fluidity of traffic and providing large space for storage, parking, warehousing, and all that is required for efficient operations. The team has also integrated the future needs of the Port of Miami, which requires a design that is flexible enough to accommodate future developments and requirements. The eastern portal will connect to Port Boulevard. Watson and Dodge Island traffic circulation would be modified to incorporate the tunnel connections as well as the latest roadway improvements at the Port of Miami. Another design feature is the allowance for relocation of rescue vehicles and the operations center in closer proximity to the portals in both directions and both extremities. This will permit faster incident reaction times and improve the availability of the tunnel roadways. Inbound Movements from Watson Island and through the eastbound tunnel, two lanes are maintained for cargo trucks to access the cargo area. Cruise traffic separates from the cargo traffic at the end of the U-Wall and accesses the cruise terminals through a dedicated lane via the Y-Bridge. The cargo traffic from downtown Miami separates from cruise traffic at North America Way and merges with the cargo traffic from the eastbound tunnel prior to entering the cargo security area. Two cruise traffic lanes from downtown Miami converge into one lane prior to joining the cruise lane from eastbound tunnel and access the cruise terminals through a dedicated lane via the Y-Bridge. Elimination of traffic signal at Atlantic Way provides uninterrupted flow of traffic from downtown Miami to the cruise terminals. A signal lane extension of Florida Way under the existing westbound Port Boulevard Bridge maintains circulation between the cruise terminals. Outbound Movements Two lanes of westbound Port Boulevard are split into single lane ramps to provide cargo traffic access to the westbound tunnel into downtown Miami via the existing westbound Port Boulevard bridge. Two lanes of cruise traffic from Europe Way are split into single lane ramps to provide access to the westbound tunnel into downtown Miami via existing Tropic Drive. Tropic Drive is connected to the extension of Florida Way to maintain circulation between the existing cruise terminals. In summary, FDOT can be assured that the Miami Access Tunnel has considered the relevant aspects of construction, port operations, traffic flows, and maintenance to ensure that the Miami Access Tunnel proposal is a success for all stakeholders.